We're Kels and Jay. <laughs> and over the last few years, we found a real passion for building. We turned an old school bus into our first home before downsizing and converting a van into our current tiny home on wheels. Recently, we found a passion in helping others with their own builds. I'm just so freaking pumped though. To get them one step closer to fulfilling dreams of their own. This time, we made our way to Austin, Texas, where over the course of a year, Angus and his parents have completed the electrical, plumbing, and ceiling of his school bus build. They found themselves stuck and unsure about the woodwork for the rest of the build. Angus is desperate to finish his build so he can take it out on some nice long road trips, move out of the house, and gain some freedom. When are you gonna move in then, Angus? Soon as possible. Tomorrow. <laughs> we have just two weeks to help him turn this old school bus into his dream tiny home on wheels. That isn't a lot of time for all the work that still needs to be done, but as you guys know, we're always up for a challenge. Oh, this is bad. Jay started off by framing the back wall where Angus's bedroom will be. They worked late into the night before waking up the next day, ready to trim out the corners of the bus. Some parts Jay got really fancy with it. Oh, that piece took so long. It's almost like he thinks he's a professional now or something. <laughs> in order to get the window trim in, Jay had to use a router to cut a groove. Pre-drilled some holes before adding them to the window panels. Next, it was time to put up some walls and really start to transform this bus. The theme of the bus quickly became curves, curves, and more curves. Angus kind of gave Jay the reins to try new things, and his trust in Jay allowed him to be more creative and build more freely. Now we've got to take more out the top, right here. I'd say his first attempt at a curved wall for the bathroom came out pretty spectacular. That doesn't mean he got out of all the boring, mundane tasks, though, like putting in the grey water tank. A Harbour Freight special, <laughs> that is. We did face some minor problems along the way. Oh, this is bad, guys. What happened? We gotta go higher. Why? Because the, this is ah. hitting this. We moved the two top box inch higher. That's it. It's not a big deal. But nothing that couldn't be fixed with a positive mindset. So what's the game plan for the rest of the day? We got the gray water mounted under the bus. Are you guys gonna go in and plumb, plumb some stuff? Up? We're gonna plumb some stuff, yeah. <laughs> We're basically just gonna attach all the pumps and filters for the plumbing system. So it's kind of a boring day. Sometimes the necessary parts of the build aren't always the most fun, but you gotta get through them to get to the real fun stuff. All right, so we're gonna make a Home Depot run. Angus's mom, we're leaving her here to paint and slave away. <laughs> and we're gonna go pick out some countertops, some paint, hopefully, right? And we'll see. So <laughs> it's hard to make decisions, so yep. we're gonna we're gonna try to make some decisions and figure it out. Have fun. Yeah. 
that. Little one, because you got these little bits. Gonna lift up. Wow. Peat moss. Peat moss, and I think the urine divert will probably be that side. We should paint it gold and like, yeah. Ooh, that exactly. would be so funny. That would be cool. <laughs> I'm sitting on Angus's toilet before he is. <laughs> Currently filming Jay from inside because it's too cold to go outside. Who knew? Austin gets pretty freaking cold sometimes. Feels like we're back in Connecticut. After defrosting the wood, Jay built some drawers to go under Angus's bed. So I guess the whole theme of this bus build is curves. We got a curved roof, obviously. Curve wall. And now Jay's sticking with the curve building a curved storage area. I really like the curves. I think it's our new staple. It's a little bit curved. <laughs> All right, the bus build is going well and we are getting very near the end. And we have a little surprise for the guy who owns this bus. Angus. Should we go tell him? Let's go tell him. <laughs> so thanks to Current, the sponsor of today's video, we're going to take you on a little shopping spree for your boss. And your mom as well. She's in the back. She's going to help with some decisions. <laughs> she deserves it too. <laughs> Current is actually the modern way to manage your money entirely on your phone by using a mobile app and a debit card. So how much is this one? Don't worry, Angus. Current's got you. That's a nice rug. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So thank you again to Current for sponsoring this video and helping us help Angus get one step closer to following his dreams. Make sure you guys click the link in our description to download the Current app today and help support us. As of right now, we only have a few days left here. So I really want to start tying up some things so that when we leave, these guys are in a great spot to finish the bus and get on the road. Started making a list. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, it is the end of today, the day. Front cubby hole, trimmed out, put a door on it, and then there'll be a hydraulic hinge. Soft close, very nice. This is extra storage with an outlet in it. Then moving to the front entryway, got all these steps in, trimmed it all out with the stair edge trim, really love that stuff. Trim piece up here, trimmed out the fridge, got these two drawers in here under the bed, this got the flaps for the compost toilet in drilled a hole for where the kitchen drain is gonna go it trimmed out this back corner so I'm sure you can tell today has pretty much been like a 
trim day almost. Just tying up a lot of loose ends, getting everything ready to for like a final paint, start corking stuff, and this bus is nearly done. And also, I think they just picked out tile. morning everyone such a beautiful day today in Austin it's like 70 degrees unfortunately this is the end of the two weeks here and our last day but today will be another big day I think we have some nice fun things to get done and then we can leave these people in peace leave them with a brand new schooling it has been a very fun two three weeks yeah it's gonna be hard to leave but we can come back we know that we'll just show up so Angus's mom and I are finishing up the tile before starting on this curved wall and we have some big plans for the curved wall don't we yes it's gonna <laughs> look great excited to see how it turns out Alright you guys, it's time for the final reveal after two weeks. Ready? Whoosh. After a little over two weeks, the bus was pretty much move-in ready for Angus and his dog, Dax. This is the reveal for the dogs. Dax, Dax's Dax bus, what do you think, Dax? We found that building for ourselves is fun, but building for others and seeing the look on their faces when their dream is right there in front of them, ready to take, that's a feeling that can't really be topped, and one that I think we'll continue to chase for a little while longer. What do you think? What do you think, Dax? Do you like the bus we built for you? <laughs> this is the cutest, this is the best gift I've ever gotten in my life, ever, <laughs> hands down. This is so cute. Look, that's my daughter. <laughs> Who's that? I'm the, I'm just a liability in here today. She's been cleaning up after herself for the last 20 minutes. I know, every time I touch the ground, I must have paint everywhere on me. <laughs> and every time I pit, touch the ground, I leave a big splodge of It's no use working nine to five. If you want more than. 